This is your prime time forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Now from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College and the East Alabama Bee Company. Here's Dr. Don. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Tuesday. My, we have a very busy weather schedule for you as we head into your forecast this morning. Got a lot to talk about. Uh, we've got a lot of rain headed our way, maybe some severe weather, uh, a lot to tell you. So let's just jump into this thing and tell you that you need to get in touch with Jamie Dukas. You owe it to yourself to find out how much money Jamie can save you with your personal and commercial insurance policies. And it doesn't cost you a dime to find out how much Jamie can save you. There is zero obligation and it only takes a couple of minutes to figure this thing out. So all you gotta do is scan the QR code you see on the screen, or you can go to the link at the top of this video or call Jamie at 256-831-7770 to find out how much Jamie Dukas can save you on your personal and commercial insurance. Also make sure you head over to our YouTube channel and you're gonna want to subscribe and then click that little bell so that if we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that notification. Doesn't always happen just on Facebook alone. So here's the dealio for today, Tuesday, June 13, 2023. We've got a slight risk of severe weather all across East Alabama and West Georgia. Now the primary threat from these storms today will be damaging straight line winds and large hail. We typically go through about a two or three week period uh, in the spring months or in the transition between spring and summer where we still have very cold air aloft uh, and then we get some weather systems that cause these hail storms. Uh, well, we've got very cold air up in the upper levels of the atmosphere. That's what allows these hailstones to grow to such large size. We're talking, you know, maybe golf ball, even baseball sized hail uh, could be possible in some of these storms, which could cause a tremendous amount of damage to your automobile and your roof or really anything that's left outside. So that will be the threat today. That will be the threat tonight. That will be the threat tomorrow. And then maybe again, as we head into the weekend. So you gotta be weather aware today. Everybody's not going to see hail. Uh, but if you hear a severe thunderstorm warning issued for your area, it's time to, um, or if you, if you know that there are storms coming your way, it's time to protect that automobile. Throw a blanket over it, make sure it's under a shed and a carport. Uh, even under maybe uh, a, a tree is better than just sitting out in the wide open. Now, that's not a very wise thing to do because tree limbs can fall. But, hey, if you're out in the wide open space and you've got a thunderstorm coming at you with baseball-sized hail, I can almost guarantee you that automobile is going to get destroyed. So you got to think about these things, folks, and have a plan uh, if these storms do develop this afternoon. So as we move ahead in time, we're going to take a look at tomorrow. Uh, look at that. We now have an enhanced risk of severe storms across central Alabama, south Alabama. It's going to be a close call for east Alabama and west Georgia. I'm thinking maybe Columbus south with the enhanced risk category on Wednesday, but you're definitely in the slight risk category on Wednesday across East Alabama and West Georgia. Then as we look at Thursday, that risk of severe weather will sink a little further to the south. Uh, it'll just be a marginal risk and that'll cover most of Northwest Florida, South Alabama and South Georgia. So here is the latest graphic from the National Weather Service out of Birmingham on your slight risk category for today. Remember that's a two out of five, five being the highest risk. Uh, but you see that yellow across East Alabama it does move into West Georgia as well. Damaging winds of up to 60 miles per hour and large hail will be the main threats this afternoon. And then as we take a look at tomorrow, look at that, uh, still have a slight risk area across East Alabama and West Georgia. Parts of the southern area of our coverage area, though, make it into the enhanced risk area. Uh, we're talking southern Coosa, southern Tallapoosa, central and southern Lee, 
Uh, all of Elmore and then parts of Harris uh, would be covered in that enhanced risk of severe weather for tomorrow. And we're talking about damaging winds of up to 70 miles per hour, hail up to the size of baseball, and even a few tornadoes cannot be ruled out on Wednesday. So you want to be weather aware starting today, tonight, and tomorrow as this unsettled weather continues across East Alabama and West Georgia. Current conditions at the East Alabama Bee Company. We got 64 degrees outside. The high yesterday was 83. Beautiful day it was. Fair skies currently. Wind is calm. The humidity is 96%. The barometric pressure 29.89. And we've had 16 hundredths of an inch of rain the past 24 hours. Sunrise this morning at 530. Sunsets at 752. And you can stop by ML Aubrey's in downtown Roanoke and Randolph Farmers Co-op in Widawi to pick up a jar of that delicious East Alabama Bee Company honey. Headed for 79 this afternoon in Roanoke, 78 in Ashland and Lineville, Widawi, Woodland, 77 up in Ranburn. Sulagaga tops out at 80 this afternoon, as well as Alexander City and Dadeville. Auburn will hit 81 degrees this afternoon. Six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. There it is. <laughs> We're talking about a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Again, a day you're going to want to remain weather aware. Some of these storms could get out of hand today. 79 will be the high. 80% chance of showers and thunderstorms during the overnight. Uh, we'll continue with an 80% chance of storms on Wednesday. Again, more storms uh, could be severe on Wednesday. Even a tornado possible Wednesday down uh, along and south of the I-85 corridor. 81 will be the high on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Friday will be the next uh, reprieve, I think, with only a 30% chance. Then on Saturday and Sunday, here comes the rain chances again, ramping up 40% on Saturday and 60% on Sunday. Temperatures, upper 70s, low to mid 80s for your daytime highs. Our overnight lows hanging out in the, for the most part, mid to upper 60s. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar scanning East Alabama and West Georgia from the Shelby County Airport in Birmingham, Alabama, showing no precipitation across East Alabama or West Georgia at this hour. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. It's at DSTREN 1040. We broadcast all of our weather information on Twitter, just as we do on Facebook, YouTube, and drdonwx.com. That's our home on the World Wide Web. Folks, I'm going to be over on Lake Hartwell in Hart County, Georgia today. I have a meeting over there. It's very important. And uh, so this could be one of those days where I may not be able to go live for severe weather coverage if we get some big storms this afternoon across East Alabama and West Georgia. At least I may not make it for the beginning of that event. Uh, I will post on Facebook. We'll have all the information there for you. Uh, but it may be after 5 p.m. before I can join you live in the event uh, that we do have severe weather this afternoon. So make sure you have multiple ways of receiving severe weather information. If you own a business and like, would like to be a partner with us here on Dr. Don's Weather, such as Anchor Roofing, Mr. Joey Knight, or Mr. Jimmy Stevens Construction, all you got to do is send me a message on Messenger. And I can have you started by the time we do our very next weather forecast, which if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, will happen first thing tomorrow morning here on Dr. Don's Weather.